like I'm hearing like walking and crashing upstairs. Cool. I'm getting some activity over here by the bathroom. Yeah. One year, one of my servers went upstairs to, to the ladies' room and couldn't get the, couldn't get the door open. It wasn't locked, but she was pushing the door. And it wasn't there was resistance behind the door, so she came flying down here like just about in tears, going up there. And then it was over with. So she said. So someone first told us there was a woman up there, then it was a child. Correct. It, correct. Were you killed? Did someone kill you here? Point to where you are one more time. Can you please point to where you are one more time. You saw I'm not moving. Located along the Occoquan River in Prince William County, Virginia, the town of Occoquan was originally settled by the Dog Indians. Colonization efforts in the 18th century resulted in the tribe being forced off their land in order for the colonists to establish the land as a mill town. The town would later play a role during the Civil War since it had one of the last post offices to deliver mail to both the North and South. Located within this historic town is the Occoquan Inn. Legend has it, that when the Native Americans were forced off their land, one Native American decided to stay behind because he was having an affair with the innkeeper's wife. One night, while descending the stairs, he was confronted by the innkeeper, shot in the chest, and was left on the staircase where he would later perish. Today, some people feel an oppressive energy around the staircase. One can assume it is the spirit of the murdered lover. The investigators of Argos Paranormal had previously investigated this location and encountered an abundance of activity, ranging from ceiling lights turning on and off, footsteps from the second floor, and even getting the spirits to turn the flashlights on and off. However, all of this activity left the group with more questions than answers, but the one thing they concluded was that whatever was causing the rampant activity in the restaurant seems to be rooted in the women's restroom on the second floor. This led the investigators to revisit the location to understand why the restaurant is regarded as not only one of the most haunted locations in the area, but to see if the building's long-lasting history has resulted in the spirits being unable to move on. To discuss the history of both the restaurant and hauntings is Gary Savage, the owner of the Occoquan Inn restaurant. Uh, this building was built in 1780. So I think it was a private residence first. And then it was an inn for a while. It was a uh, field hospital during the Civil War. And it was a garage for a while. Down below that, it was a garage garage for repairing cars and it was a funeral parlor for a long time a lot of next door is original this side of the building was rebuilt in 73 after hurricane agnes or tropical storm agnes this, this side of the, the building was destroyed so this has been rebuilt so one year next door in the end the dining room all the silverware on the tables was reversed so in other words your forks on the left, knife on the right, we're all reversed. We came the next morning. And nobody nobody would, would do that. And one year one of my servers went upstairs to, to the ladies' room and couldn't get in the couldn't get the door open. It wasn't locked, but she was pushing the door and it wasn't there was resistance behind the door. So she came flying down here like just about in tears. We all went up there and by then it was over with. So she said.
So it was over here where, um, what happened the last time? I just got really dizzy and it's just like, you know, I just kind of blanked out. Just wasn't myself. Back table right here? Yeah. So we just turned on our little spirit box so it can help you communicate with us. So whoever just turned on our light right there, can you tell us your name? Is this a woman we're speaking with? Yeah, so it is a woman, okay. Hey. You're, mo you're moving around, aren't you? Um, yeah, you're, we you're are investigating. For, it, it said you're here for investigation. Um, yeah, do you remember us? You. So you remember me? I was talking to you. You're, are you talking to me? Are you talking to Remso? What answers? My answers. Where is the woman we were just speaking with? Huh? I don't understand that. Can you please say that again? Is there more than one person here? Scar. Scar? Do you have a scar? Is the woman, is her name Lindsay? Because the last time we were here, um, we spoke of a woman, her name was Lindsay. Is Lindsay here with us right now? So here's, I, I honestly think it's a woman here, because each time we, I reach out to the woman, we get an interaction. When it's a male, nothing happens. He doesn't like you talking about her. What the hell are you talking about right now? I'm he sorry. doesn't like it when you talk about her. How do you know all this stuff? Because he's just... Okay, well the light's just on, there. so it's a possible Hi there. Did you hear that? No. What That's a say? child. Well, I don't know if there's a child here. I don't, I don't know, but you heard, Hi there, did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> There's a child here, isn't there? Mine. Your child? Your child. So, who are we speaking of right now? Remsel's saying there's a man in the, over here. I keep saying there's a woman over here. Atkins. Well, it is colder right here, like underneath the table. When we turn the lights on, we should see if there's like any. Vents it's. Right here. I mean, there's a draft coming in, but it's yeah. different. It felt like you could feel a draft. This one felt like it was just like everything was just getting colder. So this is probably the one place that we didn't investigate. I mean, we were here for like a whole five minutes, but we didn't get really anything.
no vibes or anything. So I think tonight we might want to spend a little bit more time here at some point. Well, honestly, the biggest thing you're going to find is that it's just hotter than sin. Uh, you go first. You seem calmer up there than me. It's because it's like a fucking oven. Like right here, you feel a giant temperature drop. You see what I'm talking about? Oh my gosh. It's a freaking furnace up here. This is a freaking like sauna. Here's a chair I was in. So the EMF reader is picking up stuff throughout the room. I'm getting some activity over here by the bathroom. Yeah. Like, so come and stand back here where I was, and yeah, I'm getting a lot of that high pitched noise reading. Well, yeah, I'm getting a lot of that on the stairs as well. So we know it's the room, the room's charged. It's kind of weird though because none of the outlets work. There's definitely more EMF in this room right here than compared to the bathrooms over there. Hello, is there anyone here with us tonight? Brent's was holding a box that you can speak through. If you can speak through, can you tell us your name? We're told that this used to be an inn. And that a Native American man used to come here and sleep with the innkeeper's wife. Do you know if that man is still here? No. Okay, well, who is that? Are you the innkeeper? Are you a man? No. Are you a woman? Woman. Are you on this floor, Fuss? Are you the one that likes to hang out in this bathroom over here? Our friend Brian, the last time he was up here, he spoke with a woman who was in that room over there. Do you usually like to hang out over there? Yeah? Yeah. You are? Are you in there right now? If you're in there right now, can you try using all of your energy to open up that door? Can you open it for us? No. Did, did you see that? No. It's like something peeked around. Well, I see some flowers on that door. No, no, no. It was like something peeked around. I saw that the last time we were here. So there was like a, someone peeked around. Did you peek around? Did you peek around that little doorway right there? Are you a child? You spoke with a child up here before.
let me out. Where are you? Here. Are you in that room over there with the door that's closed? Do you want me to open the bathroom door? If you want that bathroom door open, you gotta say yes. Or at least knock on something for us. No. Is that you that just knocked? If that's you that knocked, can you say yes through our little box? No. After we finished our spirit box session on the second floor, we decided to analyze our footage to see if the shadow figure I witnessed appeared in our footage. However, the video yielded no results, indicating that not either there was nothing there or the camera angle prevented it from appearing in the frame. There's a lot of activity still going on in uh, the basement of this building because there's a um, there's a barn down there that's going to close at one o'clock, and so uh, we are hypothesizing that maybe there's just too much activity, um, and that you know, and then having the three of us together in a room maybe it's a little intimidating. So we decided um, I, maybe against better judgment <laughs> to um, split up and uh, conduct our own sessions, and so. Um, one of the, the unique things about um, the upstairs here, there's a, there's a, a men's and, and women's washroom uh, and women report. Um, just sort of feeling a very uh, sense of uh, something watching them or being in the bathroom with them when they're up here, um, and, uh, which, is a, which is interesting. Uh, so we're going to, um, I'm going to conduct a session in there and see if we can communicate with anybody. Um, yeah, this will be fun. All right. Let's go check it out. The light is on. Hey, so, um, you know, if you turn that light on, you're in here with me? Nope. Okay. All right, so who am I talking to? Am I talking to a man? Turn the light off if it's a man. Turn the light off if it's a man. Woman? Are you a woman? Go ahead and turn that light off if you're a woman. We are in, okay. So we are in a women's bathroom. So did you uh, live here at one point? Are you the innkeeper's wife? If you're the innkeeper's wife, you want to go ahead and turn that light on for us so we can get to know you better? Are you somebody else? Go ahead and turn that light on if you're somebody else. Oh, okay. Interesting. But you're a woman, right? Can you turn the light off again if you're a woman? Just double checking. Are you not sure now? Maybe now you're a man? You know, I hear... Um, stories about this bathroom. Do you know anything about that? What do you do? Okay. What do you know about it? Do the women come in here to go to the washroom and then um, do they get a little freaked out, a little scared, a little nervous, something in here that causes them to be uncomfortable? Is that what's happening? Go ahead and turn that light off. Thank you. So who's doing this? Is it a man? Is it a man that's causing this? Is it a man causing the women that come into this bathroom to be uncomfortable? Hello. Did 
you just turn on our little torches on the chair? Okay, I see that the other torch is turning off. Can you turn it off all the way, please? How are you? How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you doing? What's that? We didn't catch that. What's your name? special about these steps. Hello. Oh, we're past the introductions. So we have progress. We're making progress. We're making progress. We okay. are. Yeah. So Rev's over at off the steps. Now Ryan's on the steps. You want him to get off too? Yep. They want it. They want it? Who wants the steps? Is it the man in the fireplace? Okay. Wow. Get the thermo again. Get the thermo again. Okay, you two. Go put on either you or Ryan. There. I'm at, I'm at 89. Find your Ryan. Ryan on your forehead. Are you the man in the fireplace? Stand up. That's funny. I thought I felt like some hands like doing that up my shirt. The back of your shirt? Yeah. It said stand up. Are you Are you touching my back right now? If someone is touching my back, I want those two lights to turn off. What the hell? Did you turn that light on? Oh my god. Did you just turn that light on? <laughs> yes, what's the matter? That's awesome! Can you turn that off? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> you guys turn that light on? Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> this one. Oh my gosh. 82. No. 79. It's it, off. Oh my god, that's 71 and off! And I heard the word come through. Oh, that's so cool! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What was that? What was that? Something just scrapped my back. Oh my god! Oh. oh my god! This is so trippy! This is so trippy! Wow. Oh my god! I only jumped off because I just remembered that if that light turned off, I would get up. Point the gun at me again. Yeah? Ryan, what do you feel? Point the gun in my left hand. My left so hand. Here, my watch. 68. 65. I am stone cold freezing right now. Yeah, 67, 66. Yeah, you're not warm. You try your arm. 70. 65. Ice. Yeah, I feel like it's cold. It's ice. 70, 69. Hello, is there anyone over here, Fuss? Is there a woman over here? There's someone over here, can you turn on one of those lights? Are you saying we shouldn't go up the stairs? Exactly. Is there someone upstairs? We shouldn't go talk to whoever's up there? Is that what you're saying? You know, the last time we were here, someone had turned on the light in this room. Can you do that again for me? Can you turn on this light again for me, please? What do you think of this? Well, what are you trying to tell me? I don't understand. You're behind me? Are you behind me? So what I'm going to do is actually um, sit on the stairs right here. Because the last time I did that, someone told me to get off. And we haven't had any... What's that? Get yourself You have to make your presence known if you want me to get off these stairs. You're not really making any sense tonight. Once what? Get up. Why don't you turn on this light again if you want me to get up? Or how about you turn on one of my little lights right next to my box, which is able to help us communicate with you? The lights are useless. Look up. You want me to go up the stairs? You want me 
going to go to the stairs. You want me to go up the stairs? This room used to have any meaning to you? Do you have a personal connection with it? If there are any spirits in this building with us, can you please come over here and say hello? Who just turned on that light right there? Where's the man that likes to roam around this place? In the bathroom upstairs. He's the one that hangs out upstairs? So it is a man that's upstairs, isn't it? Someone told us it was a woman up there. Did they lie? She's never been a woman. Brian came in contact with a woman, and the woman said it was another female spirit that um, hangs out in there, makes people feel weird. So someone first told us there was a woman up there. Then it was a child. Correct. And, correct. And now you're telling me there's a man up there? If it's a man up there, can you turn off that light? All right, well, we're waiting for them. They can come over here and say hello. No. The one who hangs out in the bathroom upstairs, what's his name? Does he not have a name? Does it really matter? Does it really matter? Yes. It really does matter now. Does he not have a name? Hmm. Is he perhaps not a man? Yes, he is. He is a man, okay. If it's a man, can you turn that off? He's resting. Huh. You know him. I don't. It was like a scream. I wouldn't say it was a stop. Has this spirit perhaps lived before? Has it walked on earth? If it's walked on earth, turn that light off. Okay. So it's not a D. Yeah. Well, Alright. What? I just confirmed that it wasn't a demon. Where? What? Don't worry about it. You want us to go upstairs? Can we go speak with the one upstairs? It's a man. Can we go speak with him? So there's someone upstairs in the bathroom resting. Well, why is he resting? Where? Upstairs. Are you the one that hangs out in the bathroom upstairs? This a gavier? Yes. Yeah, it was, I couldn't tell. So just one last time before we leave this room, if it is a man up there, if it is indeed a man up there in the bathroom, turn that light on. Okay, so it is a man. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna get ready to go upstairs now. If it's safe for us to go up there, 
I'm not speaking to the one upstairs. I'm speaking to the woman down here. If it's safe for us to go up there, turn off that light. Turn off that light if it's safe for us to go upstairs. No. Is your name, what, what's your name? Does it start with an N? Yes. Please remind me. You um, said your name was Nicole? Is there a Michael here? Michael? Okay, we're gonna get ready to go upstairs. If we are welcome upstairs, I want that light off. Turn that light off, we're welcome upstairs. Are we not welcome upstairs? Are we not allowed up there? We're not allowed up there, okay. As we were wrapping up our investigation over in the part of the restaurant called the Bistro, Ryan felt a burning sensation on the side of his arm. And to our surprise, two scratch marks were seen. Okay, so I'm heading back over to the area where um, I was just scratched. Um, I'm going to see if I can come into contact with any spirits and get verbal confirmation that there is something that scratched me. So, let's get going. Okay, that's music from the bar in the basement. So I'm back in the area where Remso and I, we came into contact with um, multiple spirits. Came into contact with a woman, a man, and possibly another man. So two men, one woman. So my first question is, how many of you are here in the building with us tonight? Are you a man that I'm speaking with right now? Are you a woman? I keep hearing movement upstairs. Is there someone upstairs? Did you scratch me earlier? Having not come into contact with anything, we decided it was time to conduct a second investigation on the second floor. So I'd like to uh, thank you for being so active with us tonight. I promise that we will not sit on the steps near the fireplace. Is uh, there a chance that maybe we could talk a little bit more? My name is Remso. What's your name? Are you alone? If you're not alone, can you please turn on one of the lights? Can you please turn on one light or the other and let us know if you're alone? Is there a man here with us?
there a woman? Oh, you were in there, weren't you? I saw you in there. What did you see? I saw, like, what looked like a kid peeping out. You want us to go in there? Both those torches have to go on, and then I'll go in that bathroom. Turn on the other one, now go in there. Brian, can you aim a light? Go in there. Guys, there's like a cold draft in here. Renzo just saw someone in here. So do you usually hang out in this bathroom? I know I'm not alone in here. What's your name? If you're in the bathroom with Ryan, can you please turn on the light? Tell me what your name is into this little box in my right hand. The air is super thick. My name is Ryan. What's your name? With me tonight I have um, Renzo and Brian. We're here to talk to you guys. We come here in no disrespect. The owner here, he um, knows about you guys. We're here to um, get answers. What's your name? If there's something that you want to say to me, you can say it into this right box, into this silver box in my right hand. Or you can perhaps turn on one of the um, torches um, in the room outside of me. We brought a lot of equipment so it's easier for you to communicate with us. So those are the torches that Ryan's talking about right there, okay? Are they on? One's on. Can you perhaps turn that one torch off for me, please? Both are on. When you ask them to mess with the light out here, they're doing it. Part of the 
So it's like something was in front of it. And then right before the light went there, I was like, wait a second, the master, okay, that light just came off. You were in there? That was you I saw. That was you, can you please turn off the light? Yeah, I had this camera on. So, yeah, what I saw over there was real. It was something that yeah. was like the size of like a small boy. Like his skin was just like black, but not like a black child, like an African American Mass. child. It was like charcoal. Were you the same person that was downstairs with us? to us. So, first things first, someone downstairs told us that there is a spirit up here, it's a man who's resting in that room over there. If we are perhaps speaking with that man over there, can you turn on one of the lights on this table in front of me please? It will help us know that we're not alone up here. Is there a woman up here? Is that someone snoring? I heard that earlier. Yeah, it sounded like someone was sleeping. Like... Someone's sleeping? Go open up that door. Maybe it's outside. Stand behind me. Get ready to swat kit this thing down. What the? Next time on The Witching Hour. Point to where you are one more time. Please point to where you are one more time. You saw I'm not moving. What is your name? Wayland Ward. Wayland Ward. The Witching Hour. All new episodes now available on Fairfax Public Access and CAM Erie. Check your channel listings by visiting argosparanormal.com.
And now, an exclusive sneak peek at the next episode of The Witching Hour. So right now I'm using a thing called dousing rods. In the past, individuals have used this to locate water and even um, gold in the ground. But for those in the paranormal community, what we'll do is, I haven't done this in a while, so I hope I'm doing this right. And I've usually had other people do this, but um, so I'm gonna hold these rods out. And if I ask a question, the answer is a yes. These rods will cross each other. And if the answer is no, the rods will separate and touch my shoulders. Let me get these things stable. So if there's someone up here, Fuss, can you make these two rods I'm holding cross each other, please? It won't hurt you. Can you make them cross, please? Can you make them cross? If there is someone up here. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, hell no. Um, can you wave to Remso in front of me, please? Can you make both water? Can you use both rods to wave to Remso to say hello? Look, it's saying hello. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? Mm hmm. All right, so I know that I'm not going crazy. I want both rods to touch my shoulder. I want them to go in the other direction. I don't want them to cross. I want them to separate and go in that different direction. Oh my god. Come on. Touch my shoulders. There you go. You're doing it. Touch my shoulders. Separate them. Do you not want to make these rods touch my shoulder? Okay, there you go. Do this for me. Point in the direction you're standing with both rods. Use both these rods to point in the direction that you're standing right now. Okay, there's one rod. Point the other rod. Where are you standing? Get the left rod to point in the direction as well. Where are you standing? Point towards the stairs. This is kind of going towards the bathroom. Move the other rod. Move the other rod. There you go, move it. Come on, I know you can do it. There you go. Use both rods to point the direction that you're standing in. Use both these rods to point in the direction that you're standing right now. Okay, there's one rod. Point the other rod. Where are you standing? Get the left rod to point in the direction as well. Where are you standing? Point towards the stairs. This is kind of going towards the bathroom. Move the other rod. Move the other rod. There you go, move it. Come on, I know you can do it. There you go. Use both rods to point the direction that you're standing in. Are you pointing into the bathroom? If you're in the bathroom, straighten out these rods and point them at, and point them at Remso, please. If you're in the bathroom, point both of these rods at Remso, please. Okay, there's one. Can you move the other one? If you're in the bathroom, I want you to move the rod that's touching my arm to Remso. Can you move the other rod, please? No? Is that why you're shaking the left rod?